Okay, so I made a video a few days ago about performance issues in QBS 13 and also the same performance issues happen in QBS 12. They happen on a Windows 11 based system, an Intel based Mac that I have, and they're now happening on an M1 Max Mac Studio. I've been doing a bit of experimenting and I have East West Opus loaded up here on a track. The track is armed. I'll actually just open that up so you can get a better look. So there with East West Opus, I'm getting audio dropouts still. Then what I've discovered through experimentation is there's this program that's called Audio Gritter. And Audio Gritter is like a, I think it was initially designed that you load it up on a slave computer and you use the processing on the slave computer over a Wi-Fi network or Ethernet, and you can basically, as long as you've got the software, the plugins installed on the the slave computer, you can load them up externally inside of QBase with minimal latency, depending on what you're actually doing. In this case, I'm running it local, so basically, once you've got it loaded up and you load up the audio gridder server. If you click for the screen capturing mode, disabled local mode, and pretty much that's all you have to do, is, and then run a scan of all your available plugins by just going to rescan, and it'll scan your plugin directories. And then all you have to do is go up to your add instrument track and then there's an audio gritter a gritter instrument you can load that up and basically i have one loaded up here it has the same patch of east west opus loaded into it and i'll show you the latency so there's a latency monitor the latency is between anywhere between one and two milliseconds, basically, or zero and two milliseconds. Because I have Audio Gritter server running locally on the same machine, it's not running on another computer, it's running just in the background from Cubase. Um, there's very little latency. And I'll show you the difference in performance. So when I have East West Opus loaded, Massive performance spikes. And audio dropouts again. But if I select the same patch that's hosted externally through Audio Gritter, you can see immediately the Peak performance goes way down and there was an initial little jump there, but performance is completely stable and like absolutely minimal. And the latency is absolutely playable as well. It's like actually no real difference from there again. Oh, immediate audio dropouts from. Switch back to Audio Grader. Okay. 
So, absolutely crazy difference in performance between the version that's been hosted inside of Audio Editor and the version that's been hosted inside of Cubius. Cubius is just falling apart and Audio Editor is hands on it perfectly and the performance meter in Cubius is basically not not being affected at all. What I'm also noticing is that, say, with VSX, if I enable VSX, the performance internally, the performance meter jumps up. And I disable it, it jumps back down again. I have VSX loaded up inside of Audio Gritter, running again locally in the background. And if I enable that, nothing. Doesn't budge at all. So again, VSX, the performance hit when it's run, hosted inside of QBase, VSX when it's hosted inside of Audio Grader. And with like one millisecond of latency, there's no reason for me to host this inside of Cubius anymore. Same thing happens with Sonarworks Sound ID. So I could host that outside of Cubius too. Um, another one is Acoustica Sienna. So if I load up Acoustica Sienna Guru, it's going to absolutely trash my So you can see there the performance meter is like really unstable with just one instance of Acoustica Sienna running. Completely unusable, to be honest. And then if I load up Audio Grader and add, if I turn it off VSX and add Sienna, So, Sienna Guru, Stereo, and again, you can see there, this always on top thing is starting to get quite annoying in so I'll load up another preset. Hold on, can I do this always on top? All right, no. They've changed the way always on top works inside of inside of Cubius. What was that? I want to load up the same speaker just for fairness. Java with sub. I mean. That's that loaded up now. Inside of Audio Grader. So it's not being hosted inside of Cubius anymore. Again, for comparison, I will bypass that. I will load up the same preset again. Completely unstable and peaking. So there was there would be no way that I could use that while it's hosted inside of QBS. So if I bypass that and then I enable it again, it's been hosted inside of Audio Grader. I mean that's a, th that's an insane difference. Oh. One big performance spike there. I'm not sure what was causing that. Okay, so maybe Sienna Guru is just buggy in general, which wouldn't surprise me. I 
maybe it just doesn't like lower latencies. So yes, I'll delete that and I'll enable VSX again. Actually, maybe it's this version of... I'll try that again. Maybe the bypassed version of Sienna was enough to, to mess it up. Wouldn't surprise me. So yeah, there's basically no performance hit there from Acoustica Sienna. And no performance hit from Slate VSX either. But yet, enable Slate VSX depends on the, the project, but it can jump up as high as like 25 to 30%. And then if I enable the two together, that creates a little bit of instability. If I disable that and enable the audio grader one, if I was to load sound ID inside of audio grader, I, I imagine I could almost eliminate any hit on the CPU or on the QBS performance meter. Just to show you as well that with this audio grader loaded on East West Opus there's about 12% CPU usage with it hosted on audio grader but if I load up the Opus version Let's get the performance or activity monitor back up again. And man, this is really annoying. Why won't this stay? Right. So even with the auto dropouts, still only getting like 12%, 13%. spikes with the audio critter. So not entirely stable, but and that could be because I have Sienna Guru in there. Okay, so that was caused by Sienna Guru which even in audio grader is not totally stable, unfortunately. Um, Acoustica really need to update that software. So yeah, uh, I mean, if you're experiencing performance issues with the likes of Contact or East West Opus or any kind of virtual instrument, you can actually host them inside of audio grader and your plugins as well. And it's not even like you're having to offload the process into another computer. You're using it on the same computer. You're just not hosting the plugins inside of QBase. So I think there's definitely something broken in the way that QBase is hosting plugins. Um, they're being hosted fine in other DAWs, but they're not being hosted fine in QBase for wh whatever reason. I don't know what the deal is there, but I'm hoping that, that this maybe can help the people at Steinberg get closer to figuring it out. 
But yeah, if you find this video helpful, please do leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel and encourages me to keep creating content, content like this. And uh, I shall be back with more videos soon. Cheers.